This is a demonstration to represent what happens when you have visibly soiled hands, whether you're working in the community as a health practitioner in hospitals, clinics, or other settings, or if you are working in a restaurant environment, preparing food, um, in the aesthetics, whatever. Um, so this is brown paint on my hands. So if you have visibly soiled hands or I mean, there's a lot of soil uh, debris contaminants that are not visible, such as saliva and things like that. So if this is the case and you use hand sanitizer, I'm gonna show you what happens. Even if you use hand sanitizer in the correct way. Do you see what happened? Not much. So you can see I've literally just spread all the soil around. Maybe it's cleaned or sanitized some of the soil, but the debris and other contaminants, and in general, all the soil on my hand is still there. So in this case, hand sanitizer is not enough and you should be doing a complete two minute hand wash because there's a lot of debris on your hands. So I'm gonna go and start my two minute hand wash. You can see that one cycle is not enough. Again, you really got to rub. And if you saw the post on my hand washing video, of the use of the glow germ to see where the bacteria hides in your hand. And you can see here, after I rinse, where a lot of bacteria clings on to in the hand is around your knuckle. Can you see? After second, my second cycle, you still around your knuckles, around your fingernails, and also in the webs of your hands, particularly here. I'm gonna go for a third cycle. Really rub. I well, highly encourage anyone who works in the food industry, anyone who works in the aesthetics, and absolutely for any healthcare professional to perform the two minute hand wash when you have visibly soiled hands. Again, rinse without touching any of the surfaces around the sink. And there you can see my hands are now free of any sort of debris. Grab a towel. Use the towel. Turn off the faucet.